Just another day in paradise. Good morning and welcome back to Ferris Farming Organic. Today we're going to be taking the mock till around and uh, leveling out some end rows. Now the reason we do that, I explained it in the last video, is so when we come in with trucks, once we start going you know, back and forth in the fields, really taking out corn, we have a nice flat, leveled, soft end row to turn on. Also helps for the combines, so they're not bouncing around the grain carts, pretty much everything. So that's what we're gonna do. We got about three fields worth of end rows to do, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the one field is rather big. So that's what we're gonna do. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I'm hoping to get all this done by noon. And by then, hopefully the corn is dry enough that we can really start, really start taking out some corn. And I know the last time I did this, I didn't really show it running. So the goal today is to get a lot of footage of just the Kinsey Mock Till, not me talking, although I know you guys love it so much. I'll put the GoPro out there, I have my drone with me today. We do go about 10 miles per hour riding this, so I'm not sure how good the drone footage will actually be. But we should, we do have some mile long rows that we'll do, so that should be, that should work out pretty well. First, we're gonna get some fuel because we might need that. Pro tip, if your tractor is at half, or really anything, besides clear full and you're 10 feet away from a fuel barrel probably fill it up before you leave the farm i know i know thomas how are you so knowledgeable and just know everything well it's a mystery to me too set on 30 feet track spacing which would lead me to believe it's about 28 feet so we overlap a little bit and make sure we get everything let me close the door for you you guys can't see it on the window but we always write like equipment like this the ripper the plow the grain cart every piece of equipment we have we have markers in every tractor we'll write down what all the hydraulics do what they're supposed to do and uh, when to use them and then just kind of some tips and tricks on the window. So if someone that doesn't know what they're doing, like myself, hops in a tractor, it's pretty easy to figure out what to do. Anyway, we're almost full of fuel. I'll get back to you guys when we get to the field. All right, so we did one pass, you guys saw there on the drone. We're gonna go behind, see what it's doing. All right, this is the work it's doing. You can see it's chilling everything up, kind of burying trash, just mixing it up. And that's what we're going for. So this looks, looks pretty good. Actually, yeah, it stopped, so that's a good sign. Anyway, we're gonna get back in. We're gonna do all these ends. There's like a solid 15 acres of ends on that side. And then we'll do one pass to get to the other end, do all those ends and move on to the next field. You guys didn't quite make it there. I wanted to get some videos of it going, but I guess it doesn't want me to.
got to make sure you get it all. All right, kids, we've been running for about two hours. You can see right there, that's the way I want to go down, but it's only one pass or 12 rows of corn taken, and this is like two feet too wide to get down to that end, which is very annoying because we want to get all the ends done. Um, but that's the combine driver's fault because he didn't take off a full round. So it's not my fault, but we're going to fold this up. We're actually done. We're not going to do the third field. They need truck drivers, so I'm going to take this home, get in my pick em up truck, head over to Amicsburg, get in a truck, and uh, sounds like they're harvesting corn or they need truck drivers, so apparently they are. But we're going to take this back home, get in a semi, and go uh, help the combine drivers out. Let's go drive truck, I guess. Well, joke's on me. They don't need me to drive truck. So, we're gonna go back and disc, I guess. So, we're gonna pack back up the house and go back to the tractor. Nothing like consistency during fall. I'll tell you what. This is why I like doing tillage. Because I can leave all of my stuff in one tractor Never have to bring it home. Never have to worry about carrying everything, batteries, cameras, drones, fruit snacks, Hershey bars, Snickers, to the tractor every morning. And you know, it could be worse. I mean, I could be getting to a case tractor. At least I'm getting into a John Deere. Anyway, enough complaining. We're going to drive up to the field we didn't go do and go do that. And we'll probably get called on the way up saying, hey, turn around. We need you to come drive truck. And then I'll just be super, super happy that I got halfway there and had to turn back around. So just a little update from the tractor cab. It's still really bumpy, but I thought I'd let you know kind of what we're getting acres per hour, um, stuff like that. So right now I'm getting a solid 36, 37 acres per hour. Granted, we're only taking like 30 some feet every time. So it's understandable. Anywhere from 35 to 40 is what we're getting acres per hour. We're still getting a lot done because we are going 10 miles an hour pretty much on this implement. We can go as fast as we want as long as it's not bumping up and down, bouncing up and down. So right now I'm going 10 miles per hour exactly, not bouncing around. So hopefully we can knock this field out. I'm just working on the south headlands here. We gotta go up north and do those. We're only gonna do the end rows. We're not gonna do everything they combine on this field. They actually combine quite a bit on this field. It was pretty dry yesterday, it did really good. But uh, they moved over to Grettinger area, I believe. So after we're done with this, I suppose we'll either take it over there and do the end rows over there for the trucks, or uh, we might finally get a go drive truck. Honestly, I'd rather stay in this. But whatever needs to be done, I guess, is what we'll end up doing. Also, if you're a farmer, comment how harvest is going for you guys. If you started harvest, uh, where you're located, how the corn or soybeans are doing, whatever you're harvesting, just comment what you're up to. I like hearing about all, what all you guys are doing that watch the video. Um, so yeah, if you're in the field, comment what you're doing. Just finished up our third and final field this morning. I said I'd try to be done by noon. It's 11.55. So if you ask me, that's, that's pretty solid. I'm gonna call Jack, see if they want me to bring this over to Amicsburg. I'm assuming they will. And then we'll find out if we're gonna be driving truck or continue to do some discing. Thirty thousand. 
Yeah, I just finished up here at Ken's Disc and Endro. Should I take this over to the Amexburg shop or 113 or where are they at? Um, yeah, so everything's too wet. Uh, probably what you should do. I'm not sure what. What did they take off at the Rock Pit either? Are those ends off? I mean, they, they took off the north ends and that's it. I could sure go over there and knock them out and then it'd be done. But we we're going to take it back. Yeah, I would anyway. say go do those north ends so that they're out. Because I'm not sure if we're doing oats or soybeans there. Okay. Um, you know what? If you went and did them, at least some of the trucks come. And then there's a little bit on East Freedom. Okay. Where we want to get in for chicken litter. Yep. So just do that little spot. And then the same way on the railroad 80, they took out enough so we could get some turkey litter piled there as well. Okay. Um, do you hit that spot also, if All you right. would, please. Yeah, I can do that. And then I'm guessing I'll just take this to the Emmicksburg shop and eat. Yeah. That's I think so. Yeah. Yep. And then probably tomorrow and Friday, there's, well, we'll see if they give me, uh, they call and wonder how many oats we could all. And we're gonna, we'll probably be going to Sioux City tomorrow and Friday. I would say we will not be combining again. My guess would be the next thing that will combine is a soybean to dress. Yep. Uh, but I don't know for sure. All right. It's just, uh, yeah, all that corn was over 30%. Yep. So. All right. Uh, I think is the plan right now. Sounds good. But if you want to go hit those spots, it'd be great, Thomas. Yep, sounds good. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, I don't know if you guys heard that. We got a little bit more messing around to do with this, and then all the corn's too wet. So we're not going to be combined anymore next week, or this week. It is Wednesday. So we'll probably be trucking the next couple days. So... I'm really glad, actually, that I brought you guys along with me today, just so I have, you know, a few more videos for you. But obviously, we're gonna be folding up here. We'll make our way over to the last. I think there's three little fields. There's not really much to do on them. Might take a few more videos, maybe not. I suppose you'll find out. But we're gonna get on the road. Educational time here on Ferris Farming Organic YouTube channel. So the corn's too wet. And an easy way to tell if your corn's probably going to be a little bit wet is if your corn's still green. That's usually a, a pretty good indication that your moisture will be pretty high in your corn. Like over here, this is the buffer, so this is also early corn like these endros were. Look at this nice job that this is doing. Also, look at those boots, man. Look at those nice Brunt boots. If you want a pair of those, go to Brunt.com, pick out the ones you want and use Fair Farming 10 for $10 off any order. Anyway, back to your pre-prayed programming. You can see some of these stocks are tipped down, like this one's tipped down. The corn, the plant itself, is not green really. It's kind of dying, which is what we want to go for. This corn could probably actually be harvested. But like I said, this is buffer. So this is 12 rows or 10 rows, whatever many 20 feet is from the neighbor's farm that is conventional to our farm that is farmed organic. We have to leave that, so like spray drift, all that stuff. If we get it on our field, we leave this buffer between the stuff we call organic and the stuff we call the buffer. I'm sure I've talked about that many times, but if you're new to the channel, that's why we leave corn on our end rows that borders a neighbor's farm that is not organic. Anyway, we're gonna keep on going. I'm probably gonna eat my lunch. And hopefully get home early tonight. Honestly, I'm probably gonna just like sit here and eat my lunch because we are going pretty fast, like 10 miles an hour in this thing. And you know, I'd rather not be eating off the floor after I bounce around and my lunch falls out. So we're not gonna be doing that. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, these heated lunch boxes, game changer. I'm telling you, when the wife has leftovers, there's nothing better. Putting them in your little lunchbox on your phone, you can push a little start button, 
and then two hours later, you have a nice warm meal in the tractor. I tell you, I will be utilizing this thing every single day in the fall. And I've utilized it, I mean, for the past year. It's the best thing ever. I'll also leave a link to this exact lunchbox in the description if you want one of those. I don't have a promo code for you, but maybe someday, who knows. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating lunch. Probably finish up the last 45 minutes we have of disking for the day. But uh, we're gonna call it a video here. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit about what's going on on our farm. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. We will have a ton of organic harvesting, just harvesting in general, tillage, all that fun stuff coming up in these next two months. Um, still planning on doing that like 30 day challenge or something, posting a video every day of what I'm doing. So like, comment, share, whatever you want to see next, just let me know. And until then, we'll catch you in the next one.